Hey class, welcome to unit two, the check-in. This is the English course for hotel employees. In this unit, we're gonna concentrate, our focus is on replying request for rooms and welcoming the guest replying to request for rooms and welcoming the guest this section is really really useful for the employees working in the reception area the receptionist the concierge, the bellboys. So let's get started with the presentation. We have some warm up questions. Part A I have a reservation. One Is this like the reception area of the hotel you work in? Is this like the reception area of the hotel that you work in? yes or no question let's answer the question together with complete English ready is this like the reception area of the hotel that you work in yes or no Yes, the reception area of the hotel I work in is like this or no. No, the reception area of the hotel I work in is not like this all this right no it is not like this reception area yes or no question is this like the reception area of the hotel you work in yes yeah the reception area of the hotel I work in is like this one or no it is not like this one it is not like this reception area so how different is it how different is it oh it is very different it is very different my reception area is a lot bigger the space is more open and the view is 
and it has a beachfront view or an ocean view. How different is it? Very different. My reception area is a lot bigger. My reception area has more open space. It has a, an, uh, an ocean view. Here is my ocean view, reception, let's, do, let's look at the reception. Oh, that's a wedding reception, not a reception area. Different, wedding reception, the wedding party. Excellent. So, finished with the warm-up questions. Now look at these types of rooms, room types. Exercise two. Look at these room types and match each to an abbreviation. We got S2, S2D, D A S F D D and the options single room, twin room, one bed suite, double room, one bed, double room, twin beds, and deluxe room. Deluxe. All right. So let's take a look at the abbreviations here. We got S2. Hmm. Which one do you think is S2? S2. Single. Single room for two people. Twin room, one bed suite, double room, one bed, double room, twin beds. Maybe double room, single bed. Deluxe double. S2. S2, maybe S2 is a single room or a double room twin beds or twin room, twin room, one single room, two people, maybe twin room. Yeah, let's do S2 for the twin room. What do you think? S2D, double room with two, two beds, single room, two beds, double room. Maybe, maybe this one, double room, twin beds, S, 2, and D, S, 2, D, all right, we got S, 2, D, A, D, A, D, A. Double
Double room? One bed? Maybe. Double room, one bed? D, A. S, single room, right? S, single room. F, D. Maybe... Deluxe. First deluxe or deluxe this one, deluxe, deluxe double, and the sweet one bed sweet FD, the last one, or maybe. FD right here, double room for two, uh, one bed suite, I don't know, it says two, kind of confusing, some say two, some say double, but now we have a little bit of training with the abbreviations so we can use the computer system, excellent. Let's do the listening and pronunciation. Two point two exercise one. Listening and pronunciation. Let's read the instructions. Read Mr. Bouvier's email. Is there a room available for him? Complete the reservation chart. Okay, we got a reservation chart right here on the computer. And here's the email. Okay, ready? Dear sir or ma'am, I'd like to reserve a double room with bath from July 18th to the 21st, if possible, with a balcony. Yours sincerely, Jack Bouvier. Okay, Mr. Bouvier. He wants a double room with bath and with balcony if we got it. Let's look at the computer. All right, here, room 437 is a double room with bath. So we have double room with bath. He wants a bath. From July 18th to the 21st. Right here. Yes, it is available. Double bath with balcony. Room 437 is available. Now let's look at the request. Today's class is a request from a guest. The guest request. The guest will request using this grammar. I would like to, and the verb is reserve, make a reservation. 
He said, I'd like to. I'd is I would. I'd like to reserve, which is the birth. I would like to reserve. Or you can use a noun. Not to. I'd like a or an plus noun. I would like a, a n, the noun. Verbs are actions like reserve. And nouns are things, things like people or objects or places or animals or ideas or concepts. All the things. So look at the difference. The difference here is with the verb I use to and I don't need to with nouns. I need a, a, n, or d. Excellent. That's the guest request and that's the grammar we use. Now look at the question for this exercise. Is there a room available for Mr. Bouvier? Yes or no? Yes. There is. You see that? There is. There is. Yes, there is a room available for, for him. Yes, there is a room available for him. Room 437. So right here, Mr. Boo VA. From the 18th to the 21st, correct? There it is. Boop. Mr. Rubier. Now he's in the system. He's in our computer. Fantastic. Excellent. Now we have a listening exercise. Now listen to Mr. Bouvier. He wants to change his reservation. Is there a suitable room available? We need to look at the computer one more time. Mr. Bouvier changed his mind. He wants to change his reservation. Okay, let's listen. Ready? Let's go to the listening. Remember, you have this audio in your platform here. You have the material and you have the audio. So, let me get the audio for you. If you want to try the exercise first on your own, you can go ahead and try it or we can do it together easy 
or difficult, you can try it first and then come back and check your answers. Let's see. So, Mr. Bouvier wants to change his reservation. Mr. Bouvier wants to change his reservation. Let's listen. Unit 2, the check-in. 2.2, exercise 2. Hello, Globe Hotel. Can I help you? Yes, I have a reservation from the 18th to the 21st of July for a double room with bath and balcony. And your name, please, sir? Bouvier. Would you spell that for me, please? Yes, that's B-O-U-V-I-E-R. I would like to change the dates, if possible, from the 19th to the 22nd of July. Hold the line a moment and I'll just check, Mr. Bouvier. But I think that's possible. From the 19th to the 22nd, did you say? Yes, that's right. I'm just checking. The 19th to the 22nd. Yes, that's fine, Mr. Bouvier. A double with bath and balcony for three nights from the 19th to the 22nd. Thank you. So that's fixed up then? Yes, it's done, Mr. Bouvier. We look forward to welcoming you on the 19th. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Excellent. Mr. Bouvier wants to change the date to the 19th. And now one more day, 22nd. Is there a suitable room available? Yes. Yes, Mr. Bouvier, we have the room. Yes, there is a suitable room available for Mr. B-O-U-I-V-R, I-V-E-R, Mr. Bouvier. Now exercise three. Look at these days and dates, then lesson and repeat them. All right, let's practice. Days, dates, and ordinal numbers. Let's practice, are you ready? Listen and repeat. Two point two. Exercise three. Monday. Tuesday. Monday. Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Friday. Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. The first of January. The first of January. The second of February. The second of February. The third of March. The third of March. The fourth of April. The fourth of April. The fifth of May. The fifth of May. The sixth of June. The sixth of June. The seventh of July. The 7th of July. The 8th of August. The 8th of August. The 9th of September. The 9th of September. The 10th of October. The 10th of October. The 11th of November. The 11th of November. The 12th of December. The 12th of December. 1st. 1st. 21st. 21st. 31st. 31st. 2nd. 2nd. 22nd. 22nd. 3rd. 3rd. 23rd. 23rd. 4th. 4th. 24th. 24th. So we use the ordinal numbers with the check-in and the dates. So this is January, the 1st of January. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. 
31st. Twenty first, twentieth, thirtieth, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. These are called ordinal numbers. We use them for dates. Excellent. In the next exercise, please listen to these questions and then answer them. We have some questions and we need to answer them. We got these questions right here and these questions right here. Are you ready? Listen. Listen. You have the audio right here on the platform. If you want to listen to it first and try the exercise on your own, you can do that. Or let's do it together, right? Whatever you want to do. Unit 2. The check-in. 2.2. Exercise 4. Ready? 1. What's today's date? Two. What's your day off? Three. When is the next national holiday? Four. When do you go on holiday? Five. When's your birthday? Now we have the questions. Let's answer them together with dates. Make sure you use the ordinal numbers. What's today's date? Today's date is look at what I'm doing today's date is today's date is August oh August 23rd 2022 or some people say the 23rd of August oh, of the year 2022. Different countries use different phrases for dates. Pick the one that you like. So we're going to cancel everything when we answer these questions, okay? What's your day off? My day off is... Cancel everything. My day off is... Next Monday... on the 25th use the dates use the ordinal numbers when is the next national holiday cancel everything cancel everything the next national holiday is when The next national holiday is October 31st, Halloween. When do you go on vacation? When do you go on holiday?
cancel everything when you speak English and you answer questions like this. I go on holiday. I go on holiday next month on November 25th for Thanksgiving. And when is your birthday? When's your birthday? Cancel everything in the question. My birthday is my birthday is on September fifteenth. My birthday is on September fifteenth, twenty fifth, twenty fifth, twenty third. 31st, practice, practice and practice the holidays, the dates with the ordinal numbers, with the ordinal numbers.